The atlatl may be the most important weapon in human history, simply because it put humans at the top of the food chain. It gave us the ability to hunt from a long distance, and it killed off the predators that were hunting us as humans. It gave us a chance to make our mark in the world. But the other interesting thing about this weapon is that every race, every group of people had a version of this. North America, South America, Africa, Asia, Europe, Australia, all the islands of the world. We found it everywhere. This is a version that we have here in Utah and in the, in the southwest of the United States. There's a, a hole for these two fingers to hold, and there's an extra rock weight that gives it more power. We call this a basket maker style. Uh, this is in the eastern United States, a style with a deer antler handle, dogwood shaft, and this rock gives it more weight, more power, but also it works as a silencer. This disrupts the airflow, similar to the feathers on an owl. So it is much more silent when it throws, and if you go to war, you now have a war club. This is more in the Pacific Northwest, and, it's, and, and you use those same two fingers, uh, but there's a rock, but it's a little more decorative, and this flexes just like a bow, and that gives even more power. In Alaska and Canada, the Inuits or the uh, Eskimos use this version. It's very different. Put one finger through. This is used by kayak, and it's used to hunt seals. And so this is used in the water. Very, very different and very powerful. This is a piece of woolly mammoth ivory for the hook instead of antler. This is the African version of the atlatl, and they've solved the problem of having a rock for an extra weight just by making the atlatl itself much deeper. It's a heavier piece of wood, it throws very straight, and they use this as well as a war club in, when they would go into battle. Well, my ancestors are from Sweden, and the Laplanders in Sweden used a version like this. My ancestors hunted reindeer and woolly mammoths and lived in a, a Swedish version of a teepee called a levu, and the hook and the weight are all made out of reindeer antler because when it's winter time in Sweden, the rocks are permanently frozen to the ground. This is a Northern Australian version, and this is Southern Australian. They call this a woomera instead of an atlatl, and a woomera has many uses. It looks like a paddle, it is. They would actually use this to paddle a boat or a canoe or a kayak around. They would use it uh, to gather up cassowary plums and other fruit. They would use it, of course, as an atlatl. They would hunt mostly kangaroos. And then they would also use it as a club to club venomous snakes to eat for their dinner. And the, the Asian and Polynesian version is very similar to the Australian version, but it's more slender and it's used in the jungles going after a lot of birds and monkeys that were in the trees.